Salutations everyone, this is Razor here giving you guys a little bit of hardpoint action. And probably the reason y'all came to this video is to go see Razor as he tries to quickscope for the first time. Not gonna lie, haven't done it in any other previous CODs, at least seriously. I did some private matches with a couple of friends of Modern Warfare 2, but that was like 17 years ago. So I decided, you know what, let's actually give... You know, quick scoping the old college try but after you see me try to execute this method you'll be wondering if I could spell college let alone uh, if I had completed it or not but I find a little bit of success you know here every now and again kill that dude hit marker kill that dude hard point secure look down the hallway pick up a collat and a fury kill you know it is what it is a blind squirrel will find a nut every once in a while but uh, that felt pretty good. I got myself one practice game. One practice game. I notched the sensitivity up to 10. Decided to go with the ballista here because, I don't know, I just used the DSR too much, I feel like. And this was uh, before the patch. So the fire rate is a little bit more uh, faster than it currently is at this moment in time. Turn the corner, think that something cool is about to happen, but... You know, get taken out by the vastly superior SMG class. But uh, I definitely just wanted to give quick scoping a try. And a couple of you wanted to see it. So I figured I might as well oblige them. And it did not work out too well for me. My, uh, my KD with the Ballista definitely had a significant drop after just a few games um, trying this out. Because I'm not used to it. You know, I don't, I haven't quick scoped in any games before. Uh, not that it's hard. Um, I've I actually tr um, I've qu quote unquote quick scope before. I did it in a private match in Modern Warfare Three, uh, just to teach myself, you know, like how it actually feels to be on the other side of things. And it's honestly really ridiculous how easy it is and how it you know doesn't really take much skill. It's just it really feels like you're just taking advantage of an exploit in the game. And that is what quickscoping is. I don't care how good you are at it, it is taking advantage of the exploit and the fact that you're uh, abusing the auto-aim in the game and just letting it do the work for you. Uh, not to say, not to take anything away from those that are really good at quickscoping, it does take um, practice. And of course, there's all the other things that come into, you know, factor, you know, what comes like map navigation and straight up gun skill and mobility that that kind of you know how to how to play a game is is a little different than how to handle an individual weapon you know there are many traits from you know veteran cod players that translate over to really any play style it doesn't matter if you're quick scoping or or knifing only or using a pistol or a submachine gun or a shoddy whatever some stuff if you're just good at the game you're just going to do well no matter what is in your hands and i've proved that with many different weapon setups before but i wanted to give uh quick scoping a shot because i just hadn't done it before you know try something new you guys know i'm always up for that and uh you know it's a bit of a challenge it was also kind of fun you know things went your way um you know very very often you know with the quick helping you have to zoom in super fast and get that shot and i know some people might not consider what i'm doing quick scoping by their definition but you know it's it's still quick scoping i don't really care what you say uh you know there was there's so many shots you know in the few games that i played um trying this out where you felt so cheesy and you felt so wrong getting these kills that you know that there's no way you could have got them if um if you didn't have a high sensitivity and just took advantage of the of the aim assist there's there's so many battles that just go your way where it's like i had no business killing that guy in some you know some instances you can say well i got lucky or my shot was good and here's i think another fury kill right here um not not too sure it's, it's weird that the way that the the game you know gives out these medals yeah see there you go another fury kill four in quick succession not as quick as the first time but still i guess quick enough to uh, to fit the criteria but you know it's kind of fun uh getting kills that you normally wouldn't get kills that you're not used to getting and uh you know close quarter situations or you know sometimes you'll just try to you know panic quick scope on you know whenever you're sniping on a four sensitivity or whatever it is you know get that lucky shot and when you're quick scoping with you know, with a high sensitivity and you're really just going for those quick scopes you're not trying to hard scope nobody it's uh if definitely you definitely feel rewarded um 
when you get those kills that you aren't used to getting. So that was kind of cool. But at the other you know, end of the spectrum, it was very challenging, especially when it came to those long range shots, you know, trying to get used to that, uh, that higher sensitivity it is, it's not a huge challenge as, you know, it might be for some people I can, I, I adjusted rather quickly, you know, it only really takes a game to do so, which is why I gave myself that one grace game. And there's an enemy load star up in the air. Don't know what's going on here. Teammates were pretty useless. And, you know, I'm still going to try to win the game. That is... Look at that fucking double fail right there. Uh, my end goal is always going to be winning the game regardless of what else... What other ancillary stuff I'm trying to do. The main objective is still going to be the same. Uh, I found the most struggles that I had were actually trying to throw my C4s and concussion grenades. I don't know, but just looking up and doing what i do with the c4s and the and the stun grenades was just it didn't translate well when i upped the sensitivity i ended up throwing shit too high and uh, it just it didn't work out for me but you know when i had to switch to the pistol wasn't you know wasn't anything i had to struggle with as well with the, with the quick scoping you just have to um you have to treat it as as a different gun because you're playing with it differently it'd be the same if you took an automatic weapon it made it burst fire or you know vice versa you're changing the way that you're using the gun so you kind of have to you know adapt to it you gotta take advantages of what this setup gives you and adapt to what it takes away from you know a seasoned you know pe person who's used to quick scoping won't have the troubles with long ranges as some people would or getting used to being in situations that they normally wouldn't put themselves in you know because there's some spots you know when you're sniping you pull out your secondary when you know someone's going to come out of a corner but you know when you're just trying to quick scope you want to not use that secondary when you don't absolutely need to and of course it's always going to be some instances where you just you just gotta whip it out you know what i'm saying there are there are times where the uh the call needs to be heated but you know i, I had a little bit of fun i might um I might revisit it sometime, you know, maybe post patch of the DSR, see how difficult that is going to be. So let me know if you would like to see some more of this, or maybe in different CODs. Maybe you guys want to see me do it in COD 4 or World at War, which is impossible, by the way. I actually tried it for like five minutes. That's, uh, that just, it's just the hit detection is not going to work. The hit boxes with World at War snipers are, uh, you can't really compare them to any of the other CODs. Um, you know, I might give you know that whole ACOG M40 quick scope in a try in uh, in the COD Forzers, maybe Modern Warfare 2 because it's so goddamn easy, and same in Modern Warfare 3. So let me guys, let me let me know guys what you would like to see me do some more quick scoping in Black Ops 2 or you know in a different game. But you know, regardless of how you play, your enemies are going to play the same way, hiding in corners with their SMGs and their recoilless assault rifles. But you can't, you know, control the way other people play. You can only control your own. And uh, quick scoping, not really for me. I mean, if I was going to, I'd have to put, you know, a lot of practice into it to really get into and get into things. And as you can see, I get in two fury kills here on my really first serious attempt at quick scoping. It's uh, it's definitely easier to to get those montage-worthy clips and feeds, but uh, I don't see myself doing this too often. Maybe just to change things up. I don't know. I might have to though, because with the DSR and the ballistas' new fire rates, they are not uh, not privy to doing very well with anymore. At least when it comes to montage clips. But I don't remember what my final score was. Actually cut it off because i didn't think i was going to use that footage but i decided to give you guys my my raw quick scoping ability right out of the box so hope you guys enjoyed comments always appreciated tell me how bad i am and i will see you next time